sorry okay hi everybody welcome to oh my messy room um i wanted to do a quick video with all of my favorite books especially during this time because i don't know i don't even know what to say but i just wanted to find i just wanted to film this video to show you all some of my favorite books and um maybe if y'all watch this video you can leave some recommendations down in the comments for me to read um i'll also show you some of the books that are on my book list and sorry about how i look i was just uh crying you know how we do <laughs> no okay let me find a spot okay and also please don't mind my messy room okay this is what we're what we're doing i always hate when professors don't erase everything on their thing but this is what we're gonna work with that made it worse hold on let me open the window again like i said don't mind the mess let's pretend it's not here especially that area and whatever oh i kind of cover that okay so one of my favorite books that i just finished that literally i'm shooketh is all the bright places this is such a freaking good book i before we had online classes and i was on campus i would literally read as i would walk to my class and at one point i literally had to stop and i gasped i was like <gasps> but such a great book five out of five read it read it read it read it there's apparently like a movie on netflix um about it um, but i haven't watched it so i can't give you all my opinion on that yet but the book oh my gosh it took me a few days to like get over it but um after that book i haven't been reading a lot i have bought a few books that i want to read but i just hadn't had the chance to get into them but another book that i wanted to talk about i should have made like a list but i didn't so we're just gonna go with it okay but for sure five feet apart wow this was another book that was so freaking amazing and i would read it on my way to work or like i would get there early so i would read in the car and literally some of the times i would cry and then i would go into class into class into work and everybody would be like what's wrong what's wrong and i'd be like i was reading in my car i'll insert a clip of when i was reading and it was like i was crying another book let me see what else i have okay this one i admit that i am a selfish person and sometimes i don't tell people my favorite books or like my favorite things because i'm like i don't want anybody to know but i do want people to know these i know it's a movie on netflix i know the first and the second one are on netflix it's to all the boys i loved before honestly I will watch the movies because I support the author. But the books are 100% times better. There are so many things that they missed in the first and the second movie that I was like, no. But you have to read the book. Like, please read the book. They are so amazing. They are so good. And I'm just going to tell you all my memories with every book. I was taking summer courses and I would just sit in my car, like, during my break, and I would read. And I would just be like, Peter. And, like, it was so good. The second book has this scene in it that they kind of touched upon in the movie. But, I don't know, it was just so much better in the book where I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, I look forward to that scene. But I don't want to spoil it. So, just read the books, please. There's three books. Gotta read those um let me see what else i have hold on hold on i have so many books that are like on my on my let's read book let's read list and i have it let me see what else hold on um okay this is one of my favorite books ever and again i admit i am a selfish person but this book is called Save Karen. And it's actually like, this is what actually happened to her. But she made it into like a funny way and stuff. 
and I follow her on Instagram. Follow her on Instagram. She's so funny. But it's just about her experience, um, like, getting into $20,000 in debt and then how she overcame all that and how was the turn into those $20,000. But such a good book. So good. Makes me laugh all the time. I just finished rereading it. Um, and she is the author who wrote What's Your Number, which is the movie with Anna Ferris and Chris Evans. And I like the movie, but the book is so funny too. Um, let me see what else. Okay, I found, oh, speaking of what I just said, what's your number? That's another book y'all gotta read. It's so funny, honestly, and the movie's good. And then another book I wanna recommend is Everything, Everything. This is another book that I was like, crying i told everybody about it i went to go watch the movie the movie's good but the book always a thousand times much more details much more everything i'm out of breath what is going on with me and my face is so dark because like this part has light and this part doesn't um another book that i really like it's by the same author as everything everything it's um the sun is also a star i really like this book um it took me a little while to get through it because I was like working and stuff but it was definitely a good book and um they did make a movie I didn't get a chance to watch it but I think I'm gonna watch it now um but I really like this one. Ooh, I had to walk a mole and now I'm like out of breath let me see what else um there's like other books that I obviously love but um I put them in like a different order because I don't know why I moved all my books around so I can't find them but this is a book that I was reading a while ago and I'm like here I'm on page 112 of it still smells like new 328 I didn't finish it I don't remember why but there was one specific part that would always make me laugh and I always remember um i would always tell everybody i ha i want to finish this book though because it was a good book i just don't remember why i didn't get a chance to finish it but let me see where is it oh i think it was on these pages hmm I remember oh, it was so funny too my computer's like turning off and i'm relying on that light i think i even wrote down like where it was i can't remember I don't remember, but I'm going to look for it and, and I'll put it back in. Hey, y'all. So I found the part in the book and it says, um, I can't tell you how many girls have come up to me wanting confirmation that Charlie was their destiny. Don't get me wrong. It's not like he's some repulsive troll. Coincidentally, trolls think humans are extremely unattractive. And I once had one tell me my looks were so offensive. He might vomit in my presence. And I thought that was so funny. I literally laughed for days. It's on page 42. Because I have 2% on this camera. But, um, yeah. One book that I'm going to start reading is... Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh. It's Just Breathe. Um, I believe it has to do with um, cystic fibrosis as well. Let me make sure that I'm not saying that right. Wrong. Cystic fibrosis, yeah. Which is what was present in five feet apart so i really want to read this book and i will let you all know what i think uh, but definitely if you have any spare time please read this book it was so good um and yeah i hope you guys like this video um i know it was like a quick 10 minute video and my background sucks and i probably look so dark and you can't even see me but i hope you all get a chance to read these books if you're interested um if you have any books you want to recommend please let me know so i can read and expand my book list 
but yeah i'll make another video soon once i finish more books and maybe i won't even upload it i don't even know okay bye